Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy, providing lots of helpful tips and advice on your Squarespace website, website strategy, and online tech. I've been hearing and seeing a lot people claiming that Google is not indexing their Squarespace blog posts. And until I installed this plugin by SEO Space, I didn't realize that I was also having that problem. So I investigated and discovered that there were even more people having this issue than I realized. So I got in touch with Squarespace, but I also did a little digging on my own and I want to share with you what I found. A couple of things. Number one, when you go into the settings for blog post, there's a share tab. I never use this tab, so I didn't notice that there's an option here to push to Google Search Console. So I asked Squarespace, is it necessary to push your blog posts to Google Search Console in order to get them indexed? And the answer that I got is this. The feature to push blog posts to Google Search Console is not required but it automatically re-indexes your site with Google Search Console to update their search results. Okay, so if you haven't enabled this on your blog posts, that would be step one. The other news that I got from Squarespace is this. They told me that they had reviewed my site map and they said it looks like my site is affected by an issue that they're seeing where the demo content is appearing in the image captions for image blocks in your blog posts. This has been causing issues with getting blog posts indexed. This issue is what would be causing that. That was the answer that I got. And the, these are the instructions that they gave me. Now, if you're having trouble with Google indexing your blog posts, do this. I'm going to show you what to do. And these are Squarespace's instructions. The first thing we need to do is go to your sitemap. So your sitemap is going to be your website backslash sitemap.xml. And it's going to look something like this. Now, when you get here, hit command F on your keyboard. And if you're on a PC, control F and type in this text whatever it is, comma, the way you tell your story online can make all the difference. And it's going to bring you to that portion of your sitemap. And you can see all the places where this is appearing. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one. I can see that this is for the blog post that I have written called three strategies to weed out tire kickers and save you time using your Squarespace website. And you can see right here, it says, make it stand out is the image title. And then here's the demo content right here as the image caption. So I'm going to go to my website and locate this blog post. And now I'm going to select edit and I'm going to scroll down to the first image that I come across and it's right here. Now what I need to do is convert this to a poster image. And I can do that one of two ways. I can do it by selecting this. You can see that this, that the text underneath says inline. If I select it, this is poster. So that's one way to do it. The other way would be to edit, go into design, select the drop down, and locate poster. Okay, but either way, it's going to convert this image block into a poster block. And you can see that there is text in here. Make it stand out. So I'm going to delete it and then the demo text. And I'm going to delete this. And now I'm going to convert this back into an inline image. And I will do it this way. And I have to do this for all of my images in all of the blog posts that were affected. And you can see that there are quite a few. And I know that this has been a problem for a lot of people. I just got this news over the weekend. So I wanted to make this video for you right away so that you can fix this for yourself. And if you know anyone else who is having the same problem, please share this video with them. They will be very grateful to you for that. And if you found this helpful, 
please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.